e, karibuni tena e, wapenzi wa, wa lugha adhimu ya Kiswahili a, leo tutaendelea na somo la kumi na tatu e, leo tutaendelea na somo la kumi na tatu lakini tutaendelea na mada yetu ya e, msamiati e, vocabulary Yeah, so today we proceed with the seventh lesson and uh, we are proceeding with vocabulary. Eh? Kwa hiyo tuendelee. Ah, msamii wetu wetu wa kwanza ambao tunajifunza leo ni neno kiboko. Kiboko uh, kwa lugha nyingine tunaita fimbo, eh? Kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tunasema stick. Eh? Hii sasa ni ni, ni kifaa kinachotumika kuadhibia mtu, eh? kifaa kinachotumika kuadhibu isiye just a, a piece of tree or a piece of anything that is used to beat someone we call it stick uh, and in Kiswahili we call it kiboko or fimbo mm. sasa tuone huu mfano kiboko hiki ni kikubwa sana kiboko hiki ni kikubwa sana means this stick is very big eh? this stick is used to 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 stick or to give strokes to the wrong doers eh? that is the the first uh, the first vocabulary we proceed tuendelee msamiati wa pili pia unasema kiboko lakini hapa kiboko inamaanisha a hippopotamus eh? hippopotamus pia kwa Kiswahili anaitwa kiboko pia hippopotamus kwa Kiswahili anaitwa kiboko. Mm. E, kwa mfano tuangalie hii sentence nasema jana nilimuona kiboko mkubwa sana. Jana nilimuona kiboko mkubwa sana. So the meaning uh, is uh, based is based always on the context. So kiboko means stick, also kiboko means a hippopotamus. Eh? Kwa hiyo hippopotamus naye anaitwa kiboko. Kama unavyomuona hapa chini, eh, huyu naye anaitwa kiboko. Tuendelee na msamiati mwingine. Msamiati mwingine tuna neno ndege. Ndege ndege e, kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tunaita bed bed eh? Eh, 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 kwa hiyo tunasema njiwa ni ndege mpole sana njiwa ni ndege mpole sana just an example in a sentence it means a dove is a very polite bed a dove is a very polite bed njiwa ni ndege mpole sana so we see ndege means bed okay we proceed also ndege means an airplane it means also an airplane eh? kwa hiyo ndege pia anamaanisha e, kifaa cha kusafiria kifaa cha kusafiria au chombo cha usafiri kinachopaa juu angani na chenyewe kinaitwa ndege eh? kwa hiyo angalia hiyo sentence tunasema bombardia ndiyo ndege kubwa zaidi duniani bombardia ndiyo ndege kubwa zaidi duniani it means bombardia is the biggest airplane in the world yeah let's proceed a uh, msamiati mwingine tulionao ni mbuzi mbuzi tukimaanisha goat eh, huyu ni mnyama eh, ni mnyama anayefugwa eh, kwa lugha ya Kiingereza tunamuita goat eh, kwa hiyo kwa Kiswahili tumuita mbuzi hebu mm, tuangalie mfano katika sentensi sasa baba amenunua mbuzi mkubwa sana baba amenunua mbuzi mkubwa sana it means my father has bought a very big goat my father has bought a very big goat mm, baba amenunua mbuzi mkubwa sana ndio tuendelee lakini pia tuna msamiati mwingine unaosema mbuzi mbuzi eh, huyu mbuzi ni kifaa cha kukunia nazi Eh, huyu mbuzi ni kifaa cha kukunia nadhi eh nazi eh just a, a, a device eh, that used to uh, to to prepare a coconut eh, to remove the inner part of the of the coconut for spice eh, eh we call it uh, we call it also in Kiswahili mbuzi eh. you see on the left hand side there Eh, the, the device itself and on the right hand side there the woman has is seated on the on the mbuzi 
and uh, preparing or uh, uh, preparing coconut for uh, spice eh? you see kwa hiyo upande wa kushoto ni kifaa na upande wa kulia sasa huyo mama amekaa juu ya hicho kifaa akiwa anakuna nazi akiwa anakuna nazi ndio tuendelee na msamiati mwingine unasema kanga kanga eh? kanga kanga ni ndege kanga ni ndege Eh, kwa hiyo maana ya kwanza ya kanga ni kanga ndege eh. it means the first meaning of the word kanga in Kiswahili it means a bed a, a gine for eh. a gine for eh. a gine for eh. it is called kanga in Kiswahili hmm. hebu tuangalie mfano eh, wa sentence kanga ana rangi nyeusi na madoa meupe kanga ana rangi nyeusi na madoa meupe it means a guinefowl has a black color with a, a white dots eh? hiyo ni maana ya kwanza ya ya neno kanga hmm? tuendelee maana nyingine ya neno kanga ni nguo ya kuvaa wanawake kanga nguo ya kuvaa wanawake eh? it's just the type of of cloth, of cloth that is used by women eh? it's also called kanga eh? hebu tuone huo mfano nasema juzi baba kanunua doti kumi za kanga juzi baba kanunua doti kumi za kanga it means the day before yesterday eh, my father bought 10 pairs of kanga so when we say dot dot means pairs eh? means pairs uh -huh. so we proceed guys em um, mwingine unasema ziwa ziwa eh? ziwa eh, lake kwa lugha ya kiingereza eh? ziwa likimaanisha lake kwa hiyo ziwa tanganyika lina kina kirefu sana ziwa Tanganyika lina kina kirefu sana it means lake Tanganyika is one of the deepest lakes yeah lakini pia ziwa linamaanisha matiti ya mwanamke eh? au titi la mwanamke also ziwa means a woman's uh, breast means a woman's breast eh? kwa hiyo tunaposema ugonjwa wa saratani ya titi ni mbaya sana ugonjwa eh, wa saratani ya titi ni mbaya sana it means the uh, the, breast, the breast cancer is is one of the uh, the the baddest the baddest uh, disease okay so ziwa may mean a, 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 a woman's uh, breast also ziwa also means lake okay we proceed guys hmm? msamiati mwingine tunasema ua ua sehemu ya mmea hii ni sehemu ya mmea eh? mm. it means a flower okay unasema mimi napenda maua mazuri mimi napenda maua mazuri so the plural of, ma of ua is maua so there he said i like beautiful flowers i like beautiful flowers yes we proceed lakini pia tuna neno lingine ua likimaanisha ukumbi eh? ua likimaanisha ukumbi it means a fence a fence in kiswahili is also called ua eh? watoto wako uani just a, an example in a sentence watoto wako uani it means kids are in the uh, the fence watoto wako uani eh? you see guys so thank you so much guys asanteni sana kwa kuangalia uh, do not now forget to subscribe over my channel my channel is called elimika sasa if you subscribe there every time i put my lessons you see them or if you have any question any inquiry any 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 comment you can just write me via that email i also prepare lessons for language learning institutions or teach direct from where i am so if you have any need with me please contact me thank you so much god bless you goodbye